coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Over the past year, four schools in the city of Swift Current have closed their doors. The city hopes to start the development phase of new projects at these locations. 2015 has been one of the warmest and driest on record for Southwest Saskatchewan. And now as we enter the autumn season, many are hoping the mild trend will continue. First Avenue and Swift Current was transformed into a car collector's dream as an array of vehicles lined the street for the annual cruising event held in conjunction with Market Square. Thanks for joining us here today. The landscape in Swift Current will be changing with proposed development at a number of old school sites. We have more in today's top story. Over the past year, four schools in the city of Swift Current have closed their doors. This has occurred through the construction and opening of a coal centennial in All Saints Catholic School in the North End and the reconfiguration of grades through several schools in the Chinook School Division. Now, with the transfer of ownership of land and buildings in question from the Holy Trinity and Chinook School Divisions, the city hopes to start the development phase of new projects at these locations. According to city officials, the development process is underway for the former St. Pat's and St. Joe's School sites and will slowly begin for Omen and Ashley Park as these two locations will be fully turned over to the city in the coming months. And the city is assuring local residents that public consultation will occur with all properties in question before any project goes forward. Well, once there's a, I'll call it a potential concept plan that um, either comes forward from the city or in conjunction with a developer from, from us, um, then that is what goes forward in terms of consulting with the adjacent neighbors as well as the neighborhoods and in general anyone in the city through the public forums that take place. Marcus further states the city has already received numerous calls from local residents offering their opinion as to what types of development should occur at the former school locations. It's mostly uh, questions regarding um, if there's going to be green space and, and what is that green space going to be and and so on going forward. So, And we haven't really made any decisions on any of it at this point in time. So we've just asked uh, in terms of um, the two sites received from the Holy Trinity, we are working with uh, a planning firm to give us some ideas on potential uses that the site could have and then we'll take those forward uh, once we receive them. All of the vacated school properties in question were sold to the city by the Chinook and Holy Trinity School Divisions at a cost of $1 per location. Imagine a destination where you can enjoy world-class dining and unique accommodations. Take a leisurely stroll through streets filled with rich history while browsing for that perfect gift. Buy fresh produce from the farmer's market and enjoy a range of cultural events while stepping back in time to learn more about Canada's Old West. Your summer destination is awaiting you in Maple Creek. For event listings and all things Maple Creek, visit our website. With the arrival of autumn, many are now wondering how the El Nino weather pattern will actually affect southwest Saskatchewan in the upcoming winter season. We find out more in this report. 2015 has been one of the warmest and driest on record for southwest Saskatchewan. And now as we enter the autumn season, many are hoping the mild trend will continue. At this point in time, Environment Canada is calling for a warmer than normal autumn. And beyond this, climatologists are closely keeping their eyes on El Nino and how it will affect the upcoming winter and new year. All everybody's talking about Super El Nino, Godzilla El Nino, Bruce Lee El Nino, you're right. Where people are, and, and what, what's sort of interesting about this one, this is not just your ordinary El Nino. Now, most or, uh, El Ninos come about every four to seven years. 
This is a super El Nino. This is large, intense, it's growing, it's strengthening out there in the Pacific. I mean, thousands of kilometers away from, uh, from Maple Creek and Swift Current, I mean, it just seems to be almost foreign in a way. But um, clearly, the El Nino does generally produce uh, milder, softer, more open kind of winters. In fact, I looked at Swift Current over the last six super El Ninos, going back for 65 years. There were six of those. And the last one was 18 years ago, 1997-98, and another one before that, 1986-87. 86-87 was on the prairies, the warmest, driest winter on record. So it was the year we canceled winter on the prairies. So this is the potential here for, uh, for El Nino. Now in Swift Current, for example, in the six super El Ninos, five of those winters were milder than normal, one was colder. Five were, were drier, less snow than normal, and one had more snow. Phillips adds that in conjunction with El Nino, is another unique weather pattern he and his team are closely following. Is the fact that there is this blob, this Pacific warm, it sounds like a horror movie, you know, the Godzilla meets the Pacific blob. Uh, um, but that blob, which is almost a disguise of El Nino, it's almost El Nino-like. It's almost as a warm water temperature, which has been affecting uh, Western Canada for the last two years. It, it's the one that caused the, the droughts and the forest fires and the high pressure ridge and all those kind of things. So um, is that going to continue? And will El Nino uh, duke it out with the Pacific blob to cancel it out? Or will it just absolutely enhance it? I mean, we could be talking about just no contest, nothing, nothing, no, no change from a normal kind of a year if the two duke it out. Or maybe they'll, they'll be like brothers and just uh, uh, bring on some more Hawaiian air across the West. So it's interesting times. Um, generally, if it's just El Nino itself, I'd put my money on the fact that it would be warmer and, uh, and less precipitation than normal. In the end, the El Nino weather pattern brings no guarantees, only that a milder and drier than normal winter season is likely and can take on varying degrees across the country. Until then, enjoy the colorful, crisp autumn days and keep your winter coat and snow shovel handy. Another exciting season of Market Square returns to downtown Swift Current, featuring live entertainment, fresh garden produce, crafts, and other unique vendors. Market Square every Saturday at the corner of Central and Chaplin. Proudly presented by the City of Swift Current and Standard Motors, along with Innovation Credit Union and Southwest TV News. Car enthusiasts were in downtown Swift Current at Market Square over the weekend. We bring you some of the highlights in this report. Amidst the changing autumn colors, First Avenue and Swift Current was transformed into a car collector's dream as an array of vehicles lined the street for the annual cruising event held in conjunction with Market Square. Cars, trucks, and motorcycles of all makes and models were the center of attraction throughout the day, as patrons had a chance to check out the vehicles up close and speak to the proud owners. Terry Carlton of Swift Current was one of the many participants at the show with his 1934 Ford pickup and says he's been working on this particular vehicle for a number of years. I purchased the vehicle at a farm auction about 15 years ago in Eston, Saskatchewan, actually. And then it sat for two or three years, and then we started picking, uh, finding pieces, uh, parts and pieces, and started assembling from there, and then we, we just finished this spring, actually. This is the most we've, extent that we've done to it, all the vehicles I've done of, of my own, actually. We've done a few, but nothing to this extent at all. Swift Current's own Gary Redekop featured two of his classic Chevy Bel Airs, and says along with a passion for cars, is the sheer joy of attending classic shows like the one at Market Square. Meeting up with people, talking about cars, just enjoying them. Yeah, it's a great way to meet people and made a lot of great friends. Market Square in downtown Swift Current has been busy over the past several months, featuring farm fresh produce, local artisans, and on stage entertainment. Your final chance to take in Market Square for this season is on Saturday, September the 26th.
Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across Southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.